Hey guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the body body. We're gonna be talking about acne, AKA body acne. We're gonna be talking about body sunscreens, non-negotiables, and we're gonna be talking about how to get that body glow. Because depending on, you know, where you live in the world, you might be able to go outside for maybe like, you know, five minutes. And if you're gonna be outside, might as well be glistening and gleaming and looking all good. So, you know, keep watching. I'm so excited that summer is coming or well, already here or maybe has passed, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, but it's a little bittersweet because it's like, we can't go outside, you know? Like we can go outside, but you, you know, you still gotta be careful and you know, make sure you do it safe. But um, the first topic we're gonna be talking about is back knee, AKA body acne. Now, the summertime, you can get body acne year round, but the summertime is usually one of the times where you might notice it most because you're outdoors more, you're doing more um, things that cause you to sweat, you're more active, you're yada, yada, yada. So here's a couple of things to know about treating and preventing body acne. So, Number one, you want to avoid staying in your wet clothes for too long. That's, you know, either your wet swimsuits or if you've been to the gym or if you just took a walk outside for five minutes and you're like me and you're like drenched with sweat, you want to avoid staying in your wet clothes for too long. You know, because all those things mixed together can promote, you know, acne and, you know, the acne is just like, oh, it's a party up in here. So, you know, you don't want that. So try not to stay in your wet clothes for too long. Another thing you want to do is um, try to shower as soon as possible. Now, I know it's tempting in the summertime, you're sweating and all of that to take a hot shower, but you know, turn that water temperature down because the hot temperature can kind of zap your skin and make it a little dry and you don't want to be, you know, dry and flaky in the, the, the season of skin, right? So, you know, try to shower as quickly as you can because, or at least rinse off because that helps to, you know, rid the skin of, you know, the salts that are in your sweat um, the oils from your skin, you know, these are things that can also lead to, you know, promoting bacteria growth and, you know, dealing with bumps and stuff all over the place. So number three is to try to use a body treatment, whether that's a body wash, a body spray, or a body lotion that has salicylic acid in it. That's something that is going to help to clear out the gunk that is causing the acne in the first place. And it also helps to treat it as well. Now, when it comes to, you know, which brands to use, there are so many. You can go as simple as like your Neutrogena body wash, um, Murad also makes some sal salicylic acid body washes and there are a lot of like shishi foo foo brands that make you know the salicylic acid body washes and body products so you know throughout this video I'll be showing you you know examples of products that I have in my stash that I've tried myself now you know there's a wonderful wide world of products out there so these aren't the only ones but if you were like oh Danielle what have you tried you know I'll show you that and they'll be linked in the description box so make sure you check them out if you want to buy them So when it comes to body glow, there are a couple things that you want to know. First of all, you want to make sure that you're doing your proper routine of uh, moisturizing your skin as well as exfoliating. Because if your skin is not properly moisturized, like dry skin, it's just not gonna hit the same. It's not gonna hit the same. One thing that I like to do um, when it comes to moisturizing my body skin is as soon as I get out the shower, like if my skin's a little bit damp, that's like when I definitely want to lock in that moisture with my skin um, with a lotion. So you wanna definitely make sure that you're doing your proper moisturizing. You also wanna exfoliate because you know, the skin on the body can also tend to look a little dull after a while, you know? So whether you choose to do like a chemical exfoliant or a physical exfoliant, um, there are options for the body. You know, obviously physically have your loofahs and your body brushes. You wanna make sure that you're replacing those regularly. Um, there are also scrubs that you can use. Make sure it's a gentle scrub. Um, you can go as simple as getting like your Neutrogena body scrub. You know, Olay makes some body washes that have exfoliating um, particles in them. There are a lot of ones that you can just get off, you know, from the drugstore. Um, I've tried one from Dr. Brandt. They sent me their microdermabrasion scrub for the body. It's nice, you know, the scrubs are very, very fine. 
Um, so you do feel like it, you get that exfoliation, that nice kind of like, I don't know, something about like exfoliating the body just feels like, like a nice scrub feels like really good. That's a good one. Do you need to spend that much money on it? No, but it's nice and you know, something I've tried before. Um, and then there are also chemical exfoliants that you can use for your body as well. Um, I mean, if you've got some extra facial stuff or maybe you bought a facial product um, that was a chemical exfoliant that didn't work so well for your face, you know, and maybe you don't want to get, you know, uh, you don't want to waste it, you might be able to put that on your body as well. Typically, glycolic acid is a really great um, ingredient to look for when you're looking for something to chemically exfoliate the body. It's not the only one, but it's a great one. Um, there are glycolic acid pads that you can use. So there's a brand called Canon Austin that does the glycolic acid body pads. Those are nice. Um, there are also, uh, Polish Choice makes an AHA lotion that's for the body. There's so many choices when it comes to the chemical exfoliants for the body. Those are just a couple. You can go as shishi foo foo as you want, as bourgeoisie, um, or you can get something at the drugstore. Um, you know, me personally, I if you would have caught me 10 years ago, like, you know, I probably would have been like, oh yeah, I'll spend $70 on a body moisturizer. And now, you know, me today, I'm like, I ain't paying no more than $7 for a body moisturizer, and that's my final word. <laughs> okay. You don't even have to go out and buy a body glow product. You can make your own because I'm sure you have some sort of powder illuminator or liquid illuminator or um, an old bronzer or some kind of glow product that you had that you probably don't use that much and it's probably just sitting collecting dust. You, you can actually use that. If it's like in a compact, you can crush it up and like kind of pulverize it. And you can mix it with your body lotion or a body oil and it'll give you a similar effect. But if you're looking for like a product that's already made and you know you wanna you know, know what I got, I'll, I'll tell you what I got. So first up by Beauty by Africa Miranda. This is a black woman owned business. And Africa Miranda is actually one of my favorite people. I love her. She's just, she's just amazing. This smells so good and I love how luxurious the packaging looks. I'll have the price and all that other stuff in the description box um, and on the screen, so you know, check that out because I don't know prices off the top of my head. But this is the Luminous Body Mist. I can't put my finger on it, but it, it just smells like, oh darling, don't touch me. I'm made, I'm worth $10 million. Like, not even $10 million, $10 billion. Like, get away from me, I'm too good to be touched. But this is going to give you a nice sheen on the legs. I love this especially for when I'm getting my picture taken in the summertime. I will, you know, try to put as much of this as possible on me without like, you know, making my, my shoes, you know, slip and slide all over the place and all of a sudden I'm tumbling in the streets. But Africa Miranda's um, Luminous Body Mist, definitely one of my faves, it's amazing. So another product that's gonna give you that really nice, sheen like you gonna get this melanin you gonna get this body glow you just gonna take it all in i am glowing honey is from r r luxury this is another black owned business um the creators are actually based out of ghana and i actually got this from them when i was in ghana last december this is their lemongrass shea oil and when i tell you the smell of this oil oh my god it just smells so amazing. It's gonna give the body this amazing sheen. And like, okay. I will leave information on where you can buy both in the description box. Now some other body glow products that I have loved over time. Gleam by Melanie Mills. Uh, she calls this liquid pantyhose. The very first time I actually got to try this was when I was doing a beauty segment on The Real. What was that? Maybe two or three years ago? And Melanie herself put this on my legs. Hey okay, guys, so I'm in the makeup room at The Real and guess who I have with me? The Melanie Mills. <laughs> the Melanie Mills. And guess what she's putting on me? Gleam, baby, gleam. gleam! You wanna see my arms gleaming on the TV? <laughs> Ignore the sweat block. Guys, look at the difference between this leg has Melody Mills gleam. <laughs> That's just my regular old sorry leg. Liquid, look liquid at, penny house. Oh liquid my god, house. amazing. <laughs> now, I mentioned earlier that my legs are just like 
trash. <laughs> no, they're amazing legs, but the, you know, the scars and the bruising and the, the things that I bump into and the cat hitching a, a rat on my legs, it just, you know, it could be better. This makes it look as if most of it, a good majority of it is gone. And then you can take this and put the spray over it to kind of like lock it in. Um, it, I would be very careful. Like the spray helps to kind of lock it in, but you still want to be very careful because like your sweat um, and oils and you know, other things can um, kind of like break it down and like reactivate it so it can get on your clothing. So be careful if you're wearing white when you're using this and you know, when you're applying it on in, in your, in your space. So the shades that I bought were deep gold and bronze gold. You can get these on Amazon as well as her website. I'll link it in the description box. Um, but I also have a blog post where I swatched all of the shades that she offers. So make sure you check that out in the description box so you can see all the other shades and make a, you know, make a decision on which one you want. Um, and then I also have the Natasha Denona Body Glow. Um, this was something that I bought at the makeup show, um, I want to say in 2019. I ain't need this. No, it might, might have been 28. No, it was tw I don't remember when it was, but it was the makeup show. And the reason why I'm mentioning that I bought it at the makeup show is because I got a professional discount on it because I would not have paid whatever the full price was. And I didn't even, should not have even paid the discounted price, whatever that was, because it was maybe 30% or 40% less than the retail price. Um, this is nice though, but again, this is like one of those things where it's like, you know, Girl, you can make your own body luminizer. You don't necessarily have to buy something, but if you're like, oh my God, I love Natasha Denona. I can't live without her products. You know, this one's nice as well. Now, one thing to note with these body products is that, you know, if you're going out at night, going out for a little night on town, you want to grease up, lube up, shine up, you're good to go. But during the day, you want to make sure that you're wearing sunscreen. So, you know, you put your sun, you can either put your sunscreen on first, wait, probably about 15 minutes, let that sunscreen settle, and then you can put your body glow products in. You wanna be very cog uh, conscious of the fact that you're not mixing or rubbing the um, two products together because that could degrade the sunscreen and you know make, make it not give you as much protection as you think you're getting. Or you can get like a sunscreen spray. I'll talk a little bit more about sunscreen sprays when we talk about body sunscreens um, because there's some things that you need to know about sprays. So another thing that you can do so that you, you wanna make sure you have your sun protection and you're looking to have like that nice glow is for, you can get a product that is a sunscreen oil. Supergoop makes one that's really nice. Um, Australian Gold tends to make, I don't see the one that I've used in the past on their website, so I'm assuming that maybe, you know, they upgraded and did something new or discontinued it or whatever, but Australian Gold typically has sunscreens that have, um, you know, either like a golden or um, a luminous shine to them. Those are okay because those are formulated in a lab to make sure that, you know, the sunscreen still has its, you know, efficacy. Just make sure that you're using enough on because, you know, sometimes with these products, like with sunscreen, you really need to slather it on the body and make sure you get every crevice in between the fingers, in between the toes, behind the ears, you know, behind the neck and your part. Are, like there's so many like little areas of the body that you want to make sure you get your sunscreen that sometimes you may not want an oil to be so just be cognizant of that and make sure that you're applying your sunscreen liberally to every inch of your body so now let's talk about body sunscreen so you can actually use your facial sunscreens for the body as well. Now the only caveat with that is that usually facial sunscreens are like maybe about this big, maybe this big. And you know, that's a lot of product to go to be using all on your body. So me personally, I just get my body sunscreen from the drugstore. One of my favorites is like the Neutrogena Beach Defense. Um, I also like the Neutrogena sprays. So you go through sunscreen so fast, especially on your body, that to me personally doesn't make much sense to spend a lot of money on a body sunscreen. But let's talk about um, a bunch that I've tried and that I love for the body. All right, so we talk a lot about mineral sunscreens and chemical sunscreens and you know the differences between the two. And my thing is, you know, just find a sunscreen that you love because that means you're gonna wear it and that's all I care about. So, you know, make your own decision about what kind, what ingredients you want in your sunscreen, what kind of sunscreen, all of that. Just make sure you wear it, okay? So the, typically though, again, the body skin is 
typically different than the facial skin. The body skin can usually take things on that the facial skin can't. So for instance, with me with mineral sunscreens, uh, some of them require a little bit too much manipulation to really get them to blend into the skin. And my face doesn't like that kind of manipulation and, um, you know, pressure because it'll just be like, yo, stop, and it'll bump up. But for my body, my body can, you know, withstand, you know, the extra steps to rub in a mineral sunscreen. But even through all of that, I, I just prefer a chemical sunscreen myself, me, myself personally, because I don't have a lot of time to be sitting here rubbing stuff in. But if you wanted to know some mineral sunscreens for body, here they go. So I mentioned these Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Sunscreens in my last video. These are also great to use on the body. Um, this sunscreen stick, um, it's sunscreen sticks are amazing because you can kind of stick them anywhere because they're usually small and compact and then you can just, you know, rub it on and rub it in the skin. Again, make sure you get your sunscreen all over every little crevice of the body. Another mineral sunscreen that you can use for your body, although I do, it says face, they have a body version as well. You could use the Coats Flawless Sunscreen. I reviewed this in my last mineral sunscreen video, so make sure you check that out. There's also the Verse Sunscreen. I wouldn't use this on my body. Maybe if I had put a little bit too much um, maybe I might use this on my hands, but I, it's just too small of a bottle and this is $21. It's just too small to use and too expensive to me at least to use all over the body because this would be gone in like maybe less than a week if I use this on my body every day. Um, and then of course you have your wide range of chemical sunscreens. You've got your sunscreens like Black Girl Sunscreen, which you can get at Target. You can also get at the Black Girl Sunscreen website. Um, that's one that's really moisturizing. It feels nice on the skin. One of my faves, the Neutrogena Beach Defense. Um, I like this mostly because of the smell and you know, smell is something that's very subjective. But when it comes to sunscreen, whether you're using a physical one or a chemical sunscreen, you wanna make sure that you're reapplying about every two hours. Or if you get, you know, you hop into a pool or you just like, you know, get stuck in a torrential rainstorm or you're sweating profusely, you wanna make sure that you re, you know, towel off and then reapply immediately. Even with some of these water resistant formulas, um, you know, just don't get into the habit of thinking that like the sunscreen is, the sunscreen can do more than, you know, what it actually tells you it can do on the, on the packaging. Um, water resistant just means that, you know, it's less resistant to water, doesn't mean it's waterproof. Um, so of course, you know, after you get out of the water, you wanna make sure that you reapply. Now for the body sprays, the sunscreen body sprays, which a lot of people really love because they're really convenient, especially if you've got little kids, you can just make sure they're covered. Cause you know, sometimes the kids are not sitting down to be, you know, have sunscreen rubbed all over them. And some adults too. Um, the thing with, with the sunscreen sprays is that, you know, as you're spraying it, like some of it's getting on your skin. Some of it is going into the air and dropping down to the floor and is helping no one. As a matter of fact, it might even be harming you because then later on you might, you know, step in that spot and slip and fall and, you know, break a bone or something. And then that's horrible. Um, another thing that you need to know about sunscreen sprays is that you want to apply them in a well ventilated room. Now I am not in a well ventilated room and I sprayed just a tiny bit and I'm feeling it in my chest. So can you imagine how prolonged usage of a spray sunscreen in a non-ventilated room, how much that could really affect, you know? Now another thing with these sunscreen sprays is that, you know, when you are in a ventilated room, like the air can be pulling the sunscreen away where it's not even getting on your body. So a lot of times they do recommend that you spray the spray in your hand and then apply it that way, which to me kind of, defeats the purpose of the spray, but you know, whatever. Um, but you know, these sunscreen sprays are very popular. I actually really love this one from Neutrogena. It's the Ultra Sheer um, Body Mist Sunscreen SPF 30. You know, I went and bought this after I watched um, the video with Scott Barnes, where he put like a bronzer and then he sprayed this on top and it just had like this, like, Whew, that looked good. Um, I only have like two little drops of this left in here. Um, so I need to, you know, buy me a little bit more of this. But yeah, that's the spiel with sunscreen sprays. I mean, in theory, they sound really great because they're really convenient and easy to apply. But then you have some hindrances with, you know, the ventilation, applying enough and, you know, those sort of things. 
Now, body hair. Now, this section on body hair, we're not gonna go too deep because me personally, I like to just go to a professional and get waxed. Um, for my legs, I tend to just shave them at home. Whether you do your hair removal at home or at a professional spa, there are a couple of things that you wanna know to prevent things or to treat things like ingrown hairs, which for us can be quite an issue. So let's talk about it. So one thing, it's a very important to exfoliate the area that you've had the hair removed, whether you went out and to let a professional do it or you did it yourself at home. So there are a couple of things that you can use to exfoliate. I mentioned before earlier um, with the glycolic acid pads, you can use a glycolic acid um, solution on the area. I've used something called 10 Skin Solution for years. This is something that both men and women can use. Men use it for razor bumps. Um, you know, we get razor bumps too, and you can use it um, for ingrown hair issues. But you definitely wanna make sure that you're exfoliating and then you're putting something on the skin to kind of treat the area. So whatever your product choice is that you're using to exfoliate the skin or to treat ingrown hairs and razor bumps, you know, whether you're using 10 skin or not, don't get it in the lips. Like you obviously want to make sure that you stay towards the outer part of the body because you know you don't you don't need something like this getting in there messing up the pH balance and you know be baking bread because you're trying to you know make sure your lime was bump free. You know you don't want to be doing all of that. So just be very careful of where the product gets. Okay. Okay. So leave me a comment below. Let me know, are you getting ready for, getting that skin ready for the summer, that skin to be out? Leave me some comments telling me what you are doing to prepare your skin to be out this summer season. What are your summer plans? Like, are, are you able to make plans? I know that's gonna differ from state to state with everything that's going on and from country to country as well. But follow me on social. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos or any other inf pertinent information. All the links to my blog and all of that stuff is gonna be in the description box as well. And I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.